guys and gals. Uh, <laughs> just a little update here. We uh, Bill came over yesterday and we worked on planes. Uh, worked a bunch on his uh, AT6 Texan. We had forgot that we'd even done the first build on it and we forgot to even turn the camera on all day so we did quite a bit yesterday it's almost finished uh, sorry we forgot to film all of it there was some some interesting things on this plane it was quite different than than most we've ever built but anyway i'll just kind of do a little bit of a recap here and kind of show you what we did and, and uh, we're planning on doing the maiden flight next weekend thanksgiving weekend uh, if the weather permits right now it's showing sunny and low 60s we'll just have to see what the wind's going to do but uh, we're almost done with this thing so let me show you what we did yesterday uh, okay yesterday we almost finished this thing I just like a couple of things but we did the cow um, got it all mounted we've got the the carburetor angles back on this thing so we had to use one of those flexible cables to come straight up so to keep from chewing up the cow we put one of these fuel uh, aluminum fuel valves deals in there so that'll rub against that for the needle valve and then we use some of these countersink washers to mount the cowl to it um, and we put the fuel fuel fill valve over here on this side to keep it away from the muffler the only thing we didn't do is I forgot to cut a little hole for the glow head for the glow plug but that's I'll drill that out today um, we've got that part done And then we got this almost finished up. We had to, one thing we had to do, the guy he got this from had stripped the covering back right here. He was going to put flaps on this and Bill decided he didn't want to mess with it so we recovered it and uh, my silver didn't match real good but it's on the bottom so it didn't matter but he wasn't too concerned. So we recovered that and the same thing on the bottom of the wings. We got that all recovered. Um, this bar, this is a three-piece wing basically. This is the center section that mounts to the bottom of the fuselage and then each wing mounts to that. We had to put this bar in here and center it and then had to drill a hole here, put a screw in it to hold it so it doesn't twist because you put your wings on here and then you drill a hole all the way through the wing and out the bottom and then there's a bolt, there's a 60 millimeter bolt it goes through there with nuts on it to hold the wing in place so I still have to drill those holes today and then the only thing I have to do here is we've got our leads and Y harness put together and we're going to run them uh, down through here and out the sides so that when he puts this on he can hook it to his receiver and then he'll have a lead out here for the extra wings so this is like an 88 inch wing 82 maybe 82 inch I guess and it's going to be difficult to transport if he doesn't take this thing apart so all right well uh I'll get this part here finished up and get the wiring in it and then all I got to do is cut that hole in the cowl and then mount the wing on it and everything and get it balanced and it's ready to go so uh, we'll get started on this here in just a second okay um, <coughs> excuse me we've got our Y harness put together uh, we put two 12 inch extensions on it and we used heat shrink to tie those together and we're going to run those out the side here. What I've done, I've made me a little... Oh, dropped it. Hang on a second. Dropped my wire. Can't hang on to nothing this morning. Alright. Um, made me a little piece of wire with a little hook on the end of it. And I'll just run that up through here. And run it to right there. And then we'll hook this. Get it on there. I've got it. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to pull. Oh, it came off. I can't believe that. My hook idea is not working real well. There it is. Let's try this one more time. Keep some pressure on it. Okay, pull that out that end. We'll tape all this down so we don't lose our wires. Okay. Let's hook this one. Let's hook it in between the wires there. I'll kind of hold on to it while I feed it up through there. And there we 
we go. Actually, I'm going to leave that about right there. Okay, now we have both the aileron wires coming out the side of the wing. And I will put a piece of tape over this right here uh, to keep that down. Or I could just use a I'll just use a zip tie, that'll work good. Find one that does all of them. Alright. I'll just zip tie that little bugger. That way we won't have to worry about tape coming loose or anything. And then we don't have to worry about the wires sneaking away from us. So, goes up through there. There, that will hold those in place. Get the cutters. Cut those off. Okay, that part's done. Now all I gotta do is put the wings on it and drill this hole in here. So, uh, let me go get those and I'll put them on here and we'll see what we can do there. Well, actually, first one thing I'm going to do is, um, I guess this will be long enough. Actually, let me get something. I'll be right back. Okay. What I'm going to do to make sure that I get my screws in alignment over this bar, I'm going to take this piece of square stock and we are going to tape it in place in several places that way we'll, we'll know exactly when we put the wings on there we'll know exactly where to drill our holes at make sure I get this Wear it up here and get some tape on this end of it. Okay, it is right over. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. This will, this will come off with alcohol. I'm going to mark on each side of this so I know it stays centered when I put my wing on there. And then I can mark where my hole goes to drill in this and make sure I get it through the bar. Because we have to drill straight through all the way through the wings. So, all right, let me get the wings and put on here. Okay. Uh, now we have our rod taped on here. And we have our marks so we know exactly where it goes in line. And we know this piece of wood is about an inch shorter than the bar. So the bar comes to about right here. So, <clears throat> we are going to put the bolt about right here so we're going to make a mark on each side I yeah, don't want to move that okay let's go over here this side is still centered and mark right there and mark right there and we know to go halfway in between those marks when I take this board off just pull right off of there. Okay. Get my marker again. Alright, so we're gonna go right in the middle of that. And the hard part is we gotta be sure and keep our drill bit square and not angle when we go through this. So I've got to be sure and get that correct. I may have to have my wife come in here and help me tell me if I'm straight up and down or not looking from the end. Because we have to drill this all the way through and out the bottom. Okay, we got that done. Let me see if I can uh, get my drill out and see what we can do here. All right, here goes the first hole. Let's see what we can do here. All right, I gotta get my angle right, so I'm gonna try to be in the way of the camera here. Oh man, this is not gonna be easy. It's going to tear right through that balsa. Man, this is a really, I don't care for the way this is put together. Um, I'm going to have to mark these and then pull this off and drill through the tube. 
because that's going to tear up that wood. I just, I really don't like this. I can't believe they didn't put some kind of a solid block in here to put that bolt through. But it's just balsa sheeting, which is real weak, so I don't know. I may have put a patch over that. And it's all balsa out through here. It's all weak. So I'm not real sure here what to do. I'll, let me go back and figure something out. Okay. Uh, we ran into a small problem on this wing. They have the aluminum tube I showed you through here. It goes through a cardboard tube inside and all the way out to about right here. Well, you're supposed to drill a hole through that all the way through the bottom, put a bolt through it. All this is is sheeting, balsa sheeting. There is no block of wood anywhere in there to support that bolt. So it tears real easy. I put it together and I just pulled on the wing and it ripped the, the balsa sheeting down here. So I called Bill and uh, gave him two options. We either tear the covering back off of this and go in there and build some blocks to bolt that with or we glue the wing together and make it a one piece wing. It's 82 inches long. He said to glue it together he would manage to haul it. So it would be a little bit of a transport problem but anyway well now we've got the wing glued together it will be a one piece because he won't get it back apart and uh, we'll get it put together here in a little bit and and uh, get it finished up okay uh, AT6 Texan is done all I gotta do is balance it I'll do that tomorrow afternoon and mount the battery but uh, beautiful plane can't wait to fly it uh, we ended up having to make a, a one piece out of this wing it's gonna be kinda fun but that bolt just there's nothing there to hold it so we glued this section all together, but uh, and uh, anyway, maybe next weekend. So far, they're calling for sunshine and uh, low 60s. So we'll see what happens if we get a day that's not too windy. Uh, we're hoping to fly some. I'm off for five and a half days for Thanksgiving. Of course, I got got to go somewhere for Thanksgiving, but I'll have Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So surely, out of those four days, we'll uh, we'll get some time to fly. So. Get the video up with the maiden flight. Alright, thanks for watching.